So near the back of uh, Scream and Get In, over by where the restrooms are, uh, we have Hatchet throwing here, so we're gonna ask him a couple questions. More cowbell! More cowbell! What's your first name? My name's Lance. Hi Lance, what can you tell me about this area here? This is Hell's Hatchet Throne. This is where you get to throw real axes. Well, that's fantastic. And what's the cost on this? Uh, Seven dollars. And for how long? Uh, you get ten throws. Ten throws. Yeah. All right, great. Thank you so much. First house we're going to go over into is uh, Dead Woods. We're going to check it out. Obviously, we can't film inside the houses, uh, or in these cases, the woods. Uh, but we'll give you a review on what we thought about it. And at the end of the night, we'll tell you what our favorite house was. We just went through the haunted woods. Uh, overall, it's a nice haunt. It's very, very creepy. Uh, the woods are dark and the trails lit by um, electric candles. So that factor of it, uh, I really enjoyed. I thought that was really nice. Uh, it's quiet, so they don't have a lot of creepy sounds going on in there. So it's just naturally creepy. Uh, scare wise, um, I didn't feel it was really scary at all. Uh, and it was very hard to see the sets as you walk into the cabins the the lighting doesn't illuminate and show the decoration uh, very much but overall it wasn't a bad haunt uh scare wise i'd probably give it a one out of five overall the different haunts at the end and i'll tell you which one was my favorite We just went through Demon's Revenge and that was actually kind of a fun haunt. It's really, really tight in there. So if you do have a wheelchair, they have alternate routes for the hallways that are really, really tight. Um, it was uh, a bit more scary than uh, the, uh, the haunted woods that we went through first. Uh, overall, I, I kind of like this. The theming's there, uh, uh, the actors are there. It wasn't a bad haunt. The next haunt we're going to go through is Rage 3D. Now, to me, this more or less sounds like a, um, a 3D uh, maze where you wear special glasses and they have uh, chrome effects, painted walls. We're going to go in, check it out. We'll let you know in a minute. We just went through Rage 3D. Um, some of the paintings in there were actually really, really well done. Uh, overall, the effects were good. The only problem I had with this one was that uh, the scares were, I would say 90% of the scares were off time. So it's just like the timing was off for these guys about 90% of the time. And uh, that's a shame because the opportunity for scares in there uh, would have been amazing and uh, it just didn't come through. Overall, it's a really good house. They did a great job in the painting and so forth. Um, a little work with the scares and I think it would be spot on. Next hunt we're gonna go through is Blackpool Prison. Now, I know nothing about this hunt, but obviously it's a prison, so I'm excited to go through and see how it is. Now, the new hunt this year is the Asylum and we're going to do that one last tonight. Okay, we just went through Blackpool Prison. This was really interesting. I'm gonna talk about it as I walk. Really interesting things about Blackpool Prison is, um, as you're going through the haunt, uh, it's an interactive haunt. Uh, sometimes they'll ask you to get into a box um, or they'll ask you to go into a cell and there would be like a task for you to do to get out, which I thought was really interesting. It was a good haunt, uh, scare-wise, um, not scared. I, uh, I haven't found a haunt yet tonight that I felt was really scary. They're good and they're well executed, but I feel like we're just lacking the scares in, uh, in some ways. Our final haunt for the night is Raven Hill Asylum. This is the new haunt that they put up for this year. We go through it and we're gonna check it out and we'll give you a review in a moment. We went through Raven Hall Asylum. Now that was probably the better of all the haunts here. Very well done, uh, well executed, very much enjoyed it, it was awesome. Uh, now what's interesting is in some of the haunts, 
if you want to be interactive with the haunt, they'll give you a um, either a little glow stick to carry with you in front, or they'll give you a like green necklace glow stick. Basically, tells the scare actors to interact with you. So the asylum, uh, like the prison, which also gave you a, a glow stick necklace. Uh, we were brought into different rooms. Um, you know, got my head shaved. It was overall, it was it's pretty cool. A lot of fun. Um, there's a lot of people here. Uh, one of the things that they have here is a uh, zombie paintball, and we're gonna see if uh, we can check that out. It's forty two seventy eight. My name is Abby. Hi, Abby. Hi. What can you tell me about the zombie paintball? Our zombie paintball, you guys are going to be on a bus ride for about 15 minutes through there. We have a trail for you guys. We have seven different sectors of zombies. You guys are going to be paying for 100, 200, or 300 paintballs back there. You guys are going to have guns mounted to the windows that you guys will be shooting at our zombies with. That's awesome. Yeah, and they're glow in the dark as well. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. Great, thank you. You're welcome. just about to board the zombie bus here uh, apparently have paintball guns mounted to the windows Yay, and we're gonna shoot Woo! say hi Yay! Orlando Wizard <laughs> The zombie paintball thing was actually better than I thought it was going to be. You actually board a bus, and then while you're on the bus, they have these guns strapped to the window, so everything's going to be on that side. And then depending on what you get, you're going to get 100, 200, or 300 paintballs. Uh, what's really neat is that the paintballs are fluorescent, so with the black lights, they look like laser shots going towards uh, the zombies. So that was really cool. It was. I thought it was just gonna be a room and then zombies were gonna pop up and you're gonna shoot them. This was much better and worth the money. Um, I highly recommend if you come to Scream Again, definitely do the zombie shoot. Let's talk about some final thoughts here. So what was our favorite haunt tonight? Our favorite haunt tonight had to be the Asylum, their new haunt this year. Um, really, really cool. I love the interactiveness. So the prison and the asylum, they'll give you a glow-in-the-dark necklace, and that means that you're gonna be interactive. Now, if you don't wanna be interactive with them and, and get pulled out of the crowd, then uh, don't, uh, don't select the necklace. Don't let them give you the necklace. Uh, the haunt I thought that needed the most work was probably the Haunted Woods. Um, uh, the scenery lighting needed to be better, and I didn't feel that there was really any scares. It was neat. I loved walking through the woods with the candles on each side. That was really cool. Um, they have food here. They have merchandise here. They have carnival games here. Uh, this is really, really cool. Now, it's a Wednesday night, and, there, and there's like at least a thousand people here tonight. At least a thousand. Uh, the lines were up to 40 minutes long, so I recommend if you buy a ticket, upgrade to the VIP pass, which looks like this. Get the VIP pass. Um, it's like a fast pass or an express line. Uh, it's worth the extra money to get upgraded. Uh, it's better than standing in lines. The longest line, which the VIP pass doesn't affect, is the paintball line. You just gotta stick it out and stay in line there. Uh, would I recommend that you come to Screamageddon? It was absolutely fantastic. This was probably, in my opinion, in the uh, Central Florida area, the best haunted attraction there is. People here, um, all the uh, uh, actors and all the workers here are very friendly and very accommodating. I recommend it. Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Uh, hey. 
Have you been to this hump before? I have not. I just moved here. Oh, really? Yeah. From where? New York. Oh, welcome. Thank you. So, where do you think of the hunt? Love it. So much fun. I love the music. I love the atmosphere. I love just pretty much everything. I'm like, I'm truly scared when I go into the attraction. Oh, Farrah's. What was your favorite hunt? Um, that one over there with like the dubstep music and the, oh, the 3D glasses. The Rage 3D. And they also love the paintballing one. Badass. I just did the paintball. That was really amazing. Yeah. So, would you come back next year? 100%. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Yep. Oh my gosh! <laughs> my name is Julie. Okay. What is going on? Sam, you're just getting. Sam, you're inter you're interrupting an interview, Sam. Oh my God! Here come your friend. What is going on? Coming back. Wait. What? Yo. Yo. Oh my God! And he almost fell. I guess. Sam's like the little brother I never wanted. This is just too much. <laughs> We'll see. My name is Ayani. I'm Alex. I'm Kai. Kai. And I'm uh, Jaleese, like I said. Okay. Um, is this your first uh, time coming to this hunt? Uh, no. no. Been here before? Yes. How many times have you guys all been here? It's our second. Yeah. Second year? My first. Your first year? So what was your favorite house this year? The cloud. Uh, the the um, circus one with the 3D glasses. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Was the chainsaw. Mine was the chainsaw. Yeah. Yes, she made my fall. favorite, actually. Sam? Hello. Me, me and favorite. Sam go way, way back. Hours now. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> Not hours. Met him so, um... What is going on with the cut out of my head? What was your... Did you guys try the zombie paintball? Not yet. That's amazing. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. It's actually a bus tour. Let's get it you get on a bus and the guns are strapped to the windows and you shoot the zombies as you go by. Oh wow. That's really fun. Would you guys recommend this to, to people? Yes, definitely. We Absolutely. Come out and have some fun cool. if you want to be scared. Awesome. Thank you guys. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and remember to give us a buck or two on Patreon or PayPal. The links are down below. Better subscribe. <laughs>